Hi again. The requirement in this position is for white to checkmate in two moves. Two points to note. One, white has a piece and three pawns down. Two, a lot of the pieces are on prise. White's queen is attacked twice and white's rooks on e3 and h4. Similarly, with black's queen and rooks in an identical state. Just note, while you're having a look at this, I'll point out that what doesn't work here is ED. Let's just take that off. It fails to this. Queen takes E8. And then should white play bishop e4, there's a flat square here. Alternatively, should the knight take here or here, then he relinquishes protection for this bishop, which can be taken by the king. So that just does not work. So I thought I'd point that one out first. Let's just put this back. Okay, that's the original position. Can you see the key move? I'll give you a clue. White's bishops are vital here. Let's take a quick look at it. Okay, well, the key move is bishop c4. That is the only move that will enable white to decide the game in one further move. And there were seven possibilities. Should he play queen e8 or queen takes c5, then knight h6 is mate. And incidentally, if he does play queen c5, bishop d3, would also be made because the flight square here is not available with a rook. If he takes the rook, then bishop d3 fails because he has the flight square. But knight h6 against queen takes e8 or queen takes c5 wins. No problem. Should he play bishop takes c5, then bishop d3 wins again because the flight square is covered and this queen is covering the bishop here. So there's no problem at all with that. Should this rook move anywhere down the D-line, then it's knight e3. Just to, to show you there. And that finishes the game because the rook covers the fourth rank. The bishop is covered twice, no flight square, and everything's covered. So that just wouldn't work. So we've covered one, two, three, four. Try king e4. What happens then? Well, again, this is a recurring theme here. Bishop d3 is checkmate. And there's no way out for that. So, yeah, king e4, bishop takes d3, is mate. Just to prove it. Yeah, that's fine, because everything is covered. No captures, no interpositions, nothing. No flight squares. And should he play g takes h, that is of no significance because, again, bishop d3 
the uh, major problem here for black. So finally, there's only one remaining move, and that's knight d6. The idea here is that should white play bishop d3, the knight would jump in here. So can you see how white gives checkmate here in one move? I've saved this one until last knight d6 because white uses a totally different method of applying checkmate to in any of the other variations. Like I've said, you wouldn't want to play bishop takes d3 because he'd be able to interpose his knight. Well, I did say at the beginning of this video that the, the bishops are vital. The winning move is bishop to d4. What this move does is it cuts off the rook being able to interpose here. The queen is checking the king. The problem with black having played knight d6, of course, is that the queen on the black side now no longer is a threat to the white queen. So if you just take a look at that, you'll see that the E line is covered, the fifth rank is covered by the queen, nothing can capture the queen, nothing can interpose, covered by the pawn, the knight covers the pawn there, so that is most definitely checkmate. So many possibilities here, and very excellent to those who found them, and goodbye for now.